If you are a research scholar and you are looking for an opportunity to work abroad at the same time get a good stipend, then you need to watch this video till the end. The deadline is 30th of September. Hi, hello, my name is Athya. Welcome to PhD Premier, where we discuss about PhD mindset and research. Today, I am going to speak about fellowship program, which you can enroll if you are into PhD and really it can add to your CV as well as it will give you work experience. I am speaking about nothing else but the Raman Charpak Fellowship Program. So, this fellowship program is in honor of two Nobel laureates in physics, Professor C.V. Raman and Professor Georges Charpak. So, this is in collaboration with India and France. So, if you are eligible for this fellowship and if you get selected, you will have to work in France for some time. Okay, I will share the exact details, what are the benefits, the different things that you can avail, and I know that this can benefit you. So stay tuned. Now, it's open for master students as well. Focus of this video would be research scholars. So what are the different kinds of benefits that you are going to avail if you get selected? So you have a fellowship support of 1,500 euros per month for your daily expenses, travel, accommodation, or anything to and fro air tickets in economic class between India and France. You will get insurance cover, any administrative cost for visa, registration, everything, all that would be covered. Then any kind of additional support for participating in seminars, workshop during the term of the fellowship, that also you will get. And your accommodation charges as well as in France, wherever you will be traveling. So all that would be reimbursed. So this sounds to be a pretty deal. So let's move to eligibility. So what are the different things that you need to keep in mind before applying? So first is that you have to be enrolled in PhD. Okay, you cannot be thinking about taking admission for PhD. As of now, you have to be a research scholar. And if you get selected, what work are you going to do over there? That needs to be pre-established. So that plan you need to have. You may not have the detailed plan, but roughly you should be knowing exactly what you will do after going there. So by the time the application procedure is done, you can form a detailed one. You have to be an Indian citizen and you have to be residing in India. And you have to have registered for PhD in a recognized university or research institution in India. The age should be maximum 30 years as on 1st April 2023. And those who have permanent position in any institute or university, they are not eligible. You need a no objection certificate from your host institute to apply for this fellowship. And the host institution or university, wherever you are trying to apply, that has to be in France. Okay, that is the main criteria. This is a collaboration between India and France. So now that we have seen the different eligibility criteria, First, let's see whether the list of subject is something that you agree with. So, atmospheric sciences, earth sciences and environmental sciences, material sciences, physical sciences, chemical sciences, engineering sciences, biological sciences, life and medical sciences, mathematical and computational sciences, agricultural sciences. These are subjects which, if you are doing research on, you are eligible to apply. Now, the whole application procedure is online. You can apply only online, and I'm giving you the screen recording over here exactly where you have to apply. Then secondly, you have to have your detailed description of the research plan. Maximum, it can go up to five pages. Not necessarily five pages, but max, it can go up to five pages. Then you have to have a CV with all the details of your achievements as well as your work. Then a letter of recommendation from your research supervisor. Also, you need a letter of agreement from the proposed host ho supervisor in the fellowship lab. Okay, so if you have signed up for a lab in France, then under whom you will be working, that person should give you a consent in writing. So that letter needs to be there. Then PhD synopsis or short summary of PhD work with title. Whatever work you have done till now, that synopsis you need. If you have any publications as first author or co-author, you can attach it and no objection certificate from the head of the institution. 
So these are some of the things that you need to have before applying. And if you have any doubts, then I'm leaving the contact details on screen. So you can contact this person. And if you have any doubts related to application or anything, you can get it resolved. So what are you waiting for? PhD mein thoda char chan lagana chate ho, then you apply for this. I'll see you in the next video.